Kia ora and welcome to this uh, video on uh, bank reconciliations. And so what we are going to look at is um, this past Cambridge question from the IGCSE paper in summer um, 2014, paper 213, uh, as we can see at the top there. Um, question number one, I'm going to leave for you guys to do at home. Um, that's pretty simple. I'm going to get into the nitty gritty of it so we don't waste time in this video. So what we are looking at here is a cash book from Miguel and his bank statement in the same period. What we are looking to do is look at um, the things that are currently in the bank statement uh, that are not in the cash book and vice versa. Okay, so what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with the debit side of the cash book um, because that is easier to do. So what we're going to do is look at our cash sales. We see it there. We see it there. Let's tick it off. That's in both books. What we're going to do is look at the 420. The 420 is there. The 420 is there. Okay, the 280 is there. The 280 is there. Okay. Ooh. This one's missing. We're missing $2,000 from our um, bank statement, and we're missing this $1,111. We're also missing this one here from the bank statement. Okay, so going on from then, we've got these figures that are missing. Okay, so we've identified that cash sales. The Charles account at 111 is all missing from our uh, bank statement, and the 920 from Gordon is missing from our cash book. Okay, we're going to do the same on the credit side. So can we see a figure from David at 3112? Yes, we can. So we can cross that off. 3112, cross it off. Okay, the vehicle repairs at 180. Okay, no, we can't see that. So what we're going to do is circle it. Okay, Edward 1181, we can see 1181 here, so we're going to cross that one off. That's done as well. Wages, again, 1112, 1112 is there. And uh, Francis at three, um, 3126 is not there, so we're going to circle that. We've also got insurance not there. And the $65. So we've got two on the debit side, one on the credit side, and the bank statement that do not match. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this over to the left-hand side and have a look what it's asking us on the right-hand side. So that's what we can do without even going into the question because that's going to help us straight away. Now, because this is wanting us to update our cash book, what we need to do is look from the 8th of May. So our balance is already given to us on the right-hand side at um, balance day, which was 27,020, uh, sorry, 2,720. So what we're going to do is anything that is on the debit side of the bank statement, we are going to put onto the credit side of our cash book, okay, because we need to pay that money or we recognize that that money has left us. Okay, so what we're going to do is May 8th, we don't really need to date, but I'm going to just for the sake of it, May 8th insurance. Okay, because that is missing. Insurance is going to be chucked in there at $120. Okay, also uh, interest is missing, so I'm going to go May 8th again and interest. And that is $65. Okay, then on the left hand side, uh, we know Gordon, um, old mate Gordon has been missing from our book because he has paid us um, and we just haven't recognized that he has paid us yet. So we're just going to chuck that into our cash book at $920. Okay, and we're going to call that Gordon. Okay, it just means that the check's come in, but we haven't realized that the check has come in yet. Um, and so we can put that in and we can adjust. So what we're going to do is clearly the left-hand side is bigger. So we can, uh, sorry, the right-hand side is bigger. So we can total that again, just like any transaction at 2905. Okay, the right-hand side again is going to be the exact same at 2905. And remember, we're going to have to balance this. And because we're talking about May 8th, we can just balance it at May 8th again. So balance again, C, D. And that is going to be 1985. 
Okay, and then remember, don't be lazy with this, um, but this should be May. Just do the next day, May 9th at Balance Day. And this is BD, and that will be 1985. Perfect. So that's step one done. We've updated our cash book, as the question says, and we have realized what our new entries are. Because all we're doing is putting the entries from here up into the cash book, okay? Now, this is where people get confused. They're like, oh, jeez. What system do we use? Do we use the balance as per the bank statement? Can we use the balance as per the cash updated cash book? There is no right answer unless it specifically tells you. What I'm going to do now is teach you a wee trick to do it. So if you start with your cash book balance, we're going to start with a C. You are going to do cull. So you're going to plus your unrepresented checks and you're going to minus your lodgements. Okay? But if you start with your balance as per your bank statement, you are going to do blue. Okay, so you're going to plus your lodgements and minus your unrepresented checks. Either way, you will get the correct answer. It does not really matter what way you do it, just to make sure you follow either cull or blue. Okay, so what I'm going to do is because I think it's easier in this case to start with our uh, balance as per our bank statement. Okay, so what we are going to do is balance... As per, I'm just going to write bank statement because I'm a bit lazy, but BS like that. And as we can see, it's got a debit balance. And you guys may be thinking our bank account having a debit balance. Yes, that is unusual. It does mean we are in overdraft. So what we're going to put is it in brackets 922 because currently we are in overdraft. So just because we are doing um, our balance as per our bank statement, we are going to be doing blue today. So we're going to um, um, plus our lodgements uh, minus our unrepresented checks. So we are going to plus lodgements. Okay. Some people call lodgements amounts not yet credited. Um, lodgements is an olden day term, and that's why I love it, because it is uh, the traditional term. Uh, we are going to go sales. Okay, and our sales amount is 2132, and we get that from this balance here. Okay, so that credit sales amount is there, and that's the one we are using. Okay, then you'll also notice that Charles is missing from this account, so our lodgements need to be changed. So Charles is added, okay, and Charles at 111. Okay, what we're going to do is underline that. Give us a total lodgements for the period at 2243. Okay, and that puts our balance back into our positives, which is good because our bank uh, does like to be positive. Uh, 2 1. But we're still not done yet because we need to minus our unrepresented checks. There are checks not yet presented. Okay, so it's going to be less unpresented checks. Okay, and where do we get those from? They are going to come from our credit side, and there's two there. There's the Francis and the vehicle repairs, okay, that we need to add in here. So uh, normally do them in chronological order because, you know, we're accountants. We like that sort of stuff. Vehicle repairs are there, and that is $180. And our Francis bill our Francis check is at 3126. Okay, and it's going to minus us off because these are checks that we've sent, but they haven't gone through our bank yet. Okay, so these are checks that have been sent to the people, but we haven't received them. Uh, the bank hasn't been taken money out of yet, and that is going to be a total of 3306. Okay, that is going to be minus off our total is going to give us a final balance of 1985 okay and that is our balance as per cash book okay and as you can see is this figure here matches this figure here and that's what we're wanting to do in this example so that is uh the miguel example um from uh 
this exercise. Hope that's helped. Um, that was a quick 10 minutes. Uh, we will do a harder one um, later on, but that is your intro into bank reconciliations.